Hey guys, it's Elizabeth from Fashions of the Past. Today I'm going to be doing a, another sewing video. I'm really excited because I've actually been doing sewing stuff. Last week I did so much sewing. I was sewing a Regency gown for Easter this past Sunday and uh, it was hectic and I was getting so sick of sewing. But now it is a new week and today is Tuesday and I'm ready to start another sewing project. Today I'm going to be attempting to make a blouse with some fabric I have. We'll see if this works. I have my doubts, but I am going to attempt this. I'm actually going to first make a mock-up and I'm also, if I can, if I can find fabric to make a mock-up with, but I'm going to attempt to make a mock-up and I'm also going to like try and be very like, make sure it fits, but also make sure that I use the right amount of fabric because with the fashion fabric that I want to use, it's just cotton, but I want to, it's only one yard. So I want to attempt to make this blouse with one yard of fabric. So when I do the mock-up, I need to make sure I have one yard, roughly one yard of fabric so that when the mock-up is done and if it fits and all that, I can just transfer it to that one yard of fabric because I only have one yard of this fabric. I only got one yard. I was watching a video by, um, the name is escaping me, um, but she did a video where she made a blouse with one meter of fabric, which is roughly a yard, um, and so I was like, that's genius. I want to make a blouse with my one yard of fabric, so I'm just going to show you the fabric. Basically, I have this amazing fabric that I bought at a fabric store. Um, it's got books all over it. It's absolutely amazing. It's actually all like fairy tales and stuff, but it's, it's amazing. I think it's really cool. Obviously, I'm super into books, so I think this is amazing. And having this as a blouse would be really cool. Um, it'd be actually make a cool skirt too, but obviously I only have the one yard. So I want to attempt to make this into a blouse. And this is the fabric I have. So that's the fabric I have. I was watching the video that I was just telling you about where she um, made a blouse with one meter of fabric and I kind of screenshotted one of the shots where she shows um, laying out the patterns onto her, her fabric. So what I'm going to do is actually, so I'm going to take I'm going to look at the screenshot that I have and take the basic shapes and I'm going to use this to help me out and to get the right size and shapes and just kind of play around with my uh, pattern paper over here and I'm just going to attempt to create something and because I'm doing this that is why I'm doing the mock-up. I mean you should always do a mock-up anyways but I'm specifically doing the mock-up because I want because I have no idea what I'm doing with this drafting business, and so I'm going to try to make up my thing and make it kind of similar to the girl in the video, but because I want my blouse to kind of look like that style, and it looks cool, and I like the square neckline that she did, so I am going for that, but we'll see what happens before I do anything else. I've got to make this pattern and make the mock-up because I don't want to destroy my beautiful book fabric. Hey guys, so I'm working on the mock-up. I made the pattern pieces and I was attempt I was gonna attempt to use uh, that pattern that I showed you. I was gonna attempt to use that as help, but I really didn't use that. I tried to try to use it and it just it didn't, it, it wasn't even close to what I was going for in the first place, so I just didn't use that at all today. But I just kind of drafted this by myself, so if it turns out terrible, that's why. But I think the fit is, um, something. I think I need to take it in a little bit, because it's not, well, it's hard to, I haven't, Fully, like obviously I haven't fully done the whole mock-up I've just shown the side seams and the shoulder seams and the darts so 
I need to have some sort of a closure back here in order to to see if it really fits me right. Because I think it's a little bit loose in the front portion. And I have to take that in a little bit somewhere. Maybe in the side pieces. I'm not really sure. But I have to put a proper closure in on this somewhere so that I can put it on properly. And I should put it on without the shirt on. But this is kind of what it's looking like. Yes, I'm using this weird material with this white cotton because that's what I have for mock-up uh, material. Also, I was thinking if this doesn't turn out horrible and this piece is still usable, I still have more of this fabric. So maybe if it turns out not the worst, I could salvage this piece and make the whole thing again with the rest of this fabric. And this piece. I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen at this point. Right now I'm just focusing on trying to make this fit properly. Hey guys, this, I'm finally back to working on the mock-up for this shirt, this blouse. Um, it's been a couple days, or I haven't touched it really since last week. But it's Tuesday, April 26th, but I am working on this. I... Okay, so this mock-up isn't going to be the same as the uh, final product because I'm just cutting corners to make this mock-up go quicker and because I don't want to waste things and time on a mock-up that I don't need to. So I did put hooks and eyes in the back so that I can see if it fits. And I'm, like, really excited. I'm highly impressed. There's a little bit of extra room in the front here, but... Overall, the fit seems to be really good. I'm, like, super impressed. I've never made a uh, drafted a pattern that actually worked. And I'm kind of freaking out that this is not the worst. Um, I think the back is, like, pretty good. Um, when I do the final product, it's not going to have the hooks and eyes. It's going to... I'm probably going to do buttons. I think that will look really cool. It'll take longer, which is why I didn't do it for the mock-up. And, yeah, so I'll probably do buttons in the back. So, that's the only difference in the back, I think. And then for the front, I might take a little bit out of the front. Just a little bit. I'm not really sure. Or maybe I won't. I'm not sure. Because it, like, seems kind of fine. And if I'm wearing a skirt over top of this, which is most likely what I'll be wearing, um, it should be fine. But I might take a little bit out. I'm not really sure yet. Um... I have to see if if it needs taken in anywhere else. Maybe I could just take a little bit in the middle again. I feel like the bust area is fine, so I don't want to take anything out up here. But maybe if I just take a little bit down here, it won't be that big a deal. I don't know. I think it's actually pretty fine the way it is. Maybe I don't need to take anything out. But I'm freaking out that this is, like, actually looking okay. I am really impressed. I don't think I've had to do any alterations to the back pieces that that I'm aware of. So the back is basically perfect um, in terms of the pattern pieces. I just have to cut off some of the front piece and I'm so excited that this actually looks like a garment and I hand drafted this basically. I just kind of looked at an image I didn't even take it from another shirt or a pattern. I just looked at an image of someone else's pattern piece because the pattern stuff that I had wasn't working. Okay, so I'm currently doing the sleeves. I just did the gathering stitches and now I'm gathering the bottom of the sleeve. Um, sorry. I am only doing the one sleeve because this is a mock-up. I'm not wasting my time with two sleeves. This is um, a mock-up that I'm going to throw away because I'm just using scrap fabric. So, this, I'm just gathering this. I'm going to attach it to the cuff. Sleeve. Sewn on. It's horrible job. I did an absolutely horrible job sewing this because it's kind of hard to sew the sleeve band and everything. And I'm going to be doing this by hand with, when I make the actual thing. And I'm going to actually be, like, making it nice. One thing I do want to say about this is this neckline is questionable. Or I don't know if it's just needs some taking in somewhere to help with that. 
I might add some darts at the bottom here. I'm thinking I might actually do that and see if that helps at all. But these shoulder things keep falling off my shoulders, which isn't what's meant to happen. So, um, yeah, I think overall it's turning out okay. I'm just going to add some darts in the front just to see if that helps at all with anything. And then I might actually, maybe if I take in the sleeve a bit, it won't fall off. I'll play around with that too because I already did take in this shoulder seam a bunch before. So I'll see if taking in more would help. And then that should mostly be it. So here's what I've decided. I took the shoulder in and I put darts in. I am going to just keep the normal shoulder length that I took in before and I'm not going to add this extra take in because it makes the armhole a lot uh, smaller and I don't like that. I don't want it to be too constricting and it, well, maybe a little bit. Maybe I'll take it in a little, not as much as I did here because I don't want it to be really too constricting here. But I also, I don't know, I feel like it is. I don't know if you can see the difference, but I feel like it's staying up um, much better than this. Also, my kind of sleeve is in the way, but maybe I will take the shoulder in a little bit. And then I did add some darts in the front here. Uh, I don't even know if I added them in the right spot, but there you go. Um, yeah, I'm just going to transfer all of my extra stuff onto the patterns. This is what it looks like one sleeve and very unfinished and yeah the sleeve cuff i'm going to try and make it a little bit bigger if possible because this is just a little bit tight um i mean it's not horrible but i prefer it to just be a little bit looser um but overall i'm like freaking out over the sleeve like okay it's not perfect or anything but i don't have anything with this puffy of a sleeve and i'm so excited to have puffy sleeves hello all right so I have also the pattern pieces. I cut off some of the shoulder seams. The this seam here that it gets cut on a fold. And then I drew in the dart. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the whole thing without the front dart and see how it turns out. And then add the front dart later if I think it needs it. Cause that's that's just what I wanna do. And then for the back piece, I just cut off the shoulder a bit, same as the front, and that's all I did with the back piece. And that's all of the alterations I've added. I don't think there's any other alterations that need adding from the mock-up. I just went off of the things that I took in, which was the front and the shoulder seams. And I think that's mostly everything. Yeah, I don't know. What do we think? On to the cutting of our fashion fabric, which we're actually going to be cutting this now, so we got to be careful. I have to make sure that all the pieces fit and that I still have enough left over for the sleeve bands. And I might have to make the sleeve smaller. I'm not sure because it might not fit on this fabric, but we'll, we'll see that in a second. Alright, so I have another sewing update. I did cut all of the pieces out and stuff. Um, and I've sewn both of the darts in the back pieces. So, we've got that done. Hey guys, it's officially Wednesday. I have been working on this today. I have an update. Um, I have attached the side back... The side? No. The back pieces to the front piece. And I just attached the shoulder seams as well. Um, I flat felt the seams, which is actually so genius. The video I was watching, she said to um, flat sell all the seams at this point. And I'm just like, 
it's better to flat sell the themes as you're doing the project rather than at the end when everything else is done because then you'll never actually flat sell the theme. You'll just be like, eh, I'll do it later. And then you'll just wear the garment like I did with my girdle. So I flat felt the themes and I attached the... I don't know if I showed you this, but I attached a piece of fabric for the button placket or whatever. Um, I did iron it. I don't think it's very well ironed, but I did iron it. And I have to see what the next step is. Oh, no. The next step is I have to do the neckline, which is going to be a bit of a challenge for me in terms of figuring out how I'm doing this. Actually, sewing it on once I get the right pieces will be probably fine, but I was going to try to use this scrap fabric, but I kind of feel like it's questionable. I don't even know how I did this. But I feel like it doesn't fit quite fit. Wait, no. Maybe it does fit. Okay, I'm just going to try using this stuff that I already prepared. But that's the next step. And I did try it on to make sure it seems like it fits and stuff. So she said the, the lady that the girl I was watching said that you should try it on in the middle of doing it so you can... If you need to fix anything, you can do so before it's completely finished. And I did that. It seemed to fit fine at this point in time. I'm really excited about this. I hope it turns out nice. And I just love the fabric a lot. So I'm going to keep going and I'll update you later. Sorry, I haven't really filmed myself sewing. It's mostly because I either forget or like today I didn't have my phone with me. So I couldn't film if I wanted to. Because I left it at home by accident. Hey guys, I'm back with an update on this bodice that I started making. Um, blouse, whatever. Uh, I have finished the neckline. So what I did was I added the edging to the neckline. And then I folded it over. And I whip stitched it down. I made sure to do as tiny as it like take one little tiny thread from this part so it wouldn't show on the other side it doesn't it's really nice and I ironed it after I whip stitched it because I whip stitched it while I was gone somewhere and so I couldn't iron it so I had to iron it after I sewed it which usually you iron it first but I ironed it after because I'm crazy so now we've got the neckline finished it is if I can do this, this is the neckline, front and back, and now I'm ready to do the buttonhole thing. I started doing the placket. I'm actually down here. I started sewing it. I did fold it over this piece, and then I folded it over again, and I ironed it. So now I'm just whip stitching this down. Again, I'm going to try to use really tiny stitches again, or like the type of stitch where you only take one thread from the fabric so it doesn't show on the other side. And I'm just going to do that all the way down and then I'm going to make my buttonholes on this side and put my buttons on the other side. I still have to figure out what buttons I'm using. I have a thing, a little drawer of buttons, so I'm hoping those should work out. Cause Excuse the hair, but, um, button and buttonholes are complete. I don't know how easy that is to see with all of the busy fabric, but I just did these, like, brown buttons because I don't have any other buttons that would work for this. I wanted to do red buttons because I thought they would look cool and stand out, but... I had like two red buttons and that wasn't enough so I ended up using red embroidery thread for the buttonholes and the middle of the buttons as well just because I think red looks nice and popped out with this fabric. Um, so now on to the next step. I think the sleeves are the next step but I'm going to check to make sure. Um, 
but I think this is turning out. I ha I want to try the bodice on with the buttons, so I will do that then. I have to figure out. I might not be able to try it on tonight because it's like really late, midnight or something. It's basically midnight and I don't have anyone to button the buttons for me. But I was thinking I might try and flip this on over my head while it's buttoned up. I'm just gonna try that now. Cause you know, crazy. I don't want to like pop any seams or... <gasps> wow. Obviously I have another shirt on underneath and a shift underneath of that. But this actually is in a bad fit. It's all buttoned up and everything. Okay. The sleeves are finished. Now I just gotta add them to the blouse part, the bodice. Um, basically, I just wanted to say that um, I attached the sleeve, the cuff to the sleeve, right sides together. I with the starting point being both of these seams um, underneath, and then I folded it over uh, under over. I attached them right sides together, and then I folded this over with the part that I ironed, because I ironed it in half. And then I just folded this edge under and whip stitched it. I don't know if you can see that. And then all you have to do is make this right side out, and you've got a nice puffy sleeve. Now I have to gather this to fit into the armhole of this. And attach and then I think the uh, bottom needs hemmed and I think that's about all I have left like I said before I might add some darts in the front we'll see what it looks like after I do this sleeves but I'm so excited this is turning out pretty good hey guys what do we think the sleeves are attached I attached the sleeves I actually um felled the inside seam of the the sleeve seam on both sleeves and then I attached them and felled the inside seams on the inside so everything is completely finished it's all like all of the seams are finished obviously I haven't hemmed it yet but all of like the seams are on the inside are all finished so I don't have to worry about doing that after the thing is finished because usually what happens is what I do is I make the garment and then I have all the seams that need felled um, after the fact. You know, usually people finish the seams after the garment's made. And then I don't end up finishing it and I just end up letting it fray and fray. And I'm like, oh, I need to finish this. Oh, I need to finish this. But I never actually do it. But finishing it as I go along the process makes it so much easier and better. Also, this project is quite a small project, so it's not like my kirtle, which is eons and eons of seams that need finished. Hey guys, I have some exciting news, I guess. I don't know. Is it news? It's not really news. But I finished it. It's complete. I have just finished the hem. Uh, for now, I'm not going to add the extra darts. I don't know if I mentioned that before. If I want to do it in the future, I guess I can. But um, the garment is complete. I have a new blouse with sort of puffy sleeves. And uh, I'm so excited. Like, it's complete. I can wear it. I can wear a bookshelf. Like, <laughs> who doesn't want to do that? I'm so excited and now need like a proper skirt to wear with it because I feel like all of the skirts I have don't necessarily go with it. I'm thinking, it, this is what I'm thinking in my brain, that eventually in the future I would love to make a red skirt because I feel like red would really go with this. I mean, every color 
would go with this because it has like every color in it. But I feel like red stands out to me as a color that would go really nicely with this. I don't know if that's just me. But I'm really excited to say that that's the end of this video. I'm excited because this blouse is finished and I can finally wear it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to support me. Also, if you're interested in checking out my Kofi linked below. And if you're into reading, check out my other channel linked also below. And I will see you in the next one. I hope this inspired you to go into your own sewing rooms. Bye.